Hi there, and welcome to this Mash Bite. We're going to take a look at using Purple Mash resources and activities to support learning towards their Maths Year 6 National Curriculum tests and the Year 4 Multiplication Tables check. Let's begin with the Year 6 tests. There's a huge range of ready made activities to support the Maths curriculum in Purple Mash, and they can easily be found from the home page either by browsing into the mathematics area or by using the search and filter. I'm thinking of some children who might need support with fractions, so let's browse and see what's available. Clicking on the mathematics icon and then into the number folder and again into the fractions folder, we then find age related folders for the year group contents within the curriculum. I'm going to click into the nine to 11 age range and we can now see a wide range of activities. As I scroll the page, notice the different sections relating to the strands of the curriculum. Any problem solving or reasoning activities come at the end of a section. Many of the activities are quizzes indicated by a colorful star with a question mark. Any of these can be set as to do's and the quizzes will record the children's scores, which you can access by clicking into your to do's and then finding the to do and clicking the view data button. Alternatively, I might be looking for something to develop ideas about ratio and proportion. So for this, I'm going to use the search. So from the Purple Mash homepage, click into the search bar, enter your search, and then to the right of the search bar is the filter, and I can select maths and year six. And here we see activities for that search and filter combination. If you're thinking about setting an activity as a to do, you can edit before you set it. To edit a quiz, you'll need to press the stop button to enter editing mode. And in any Purple Mash tool, you can find deta detailed help by clicking the video icon to the upper right of the tool area. And this will give you all the information you need about the editing possibilities. Once you've adapted an activity, simply click the menu choose sharing, save the altered activity, and then select to share it as a to-do. The activities we've seen could be used in different ways. You could perhaps set them as a to-do for children to complete independently, perhaps as a follow-up a week after some teaching or revision to help with memory building. Or you might want to use them on a large screen as part of small group support or intervention. You could maybe show your class where the activities are and encourage the children to choose whatever they feel they need to practice. In addition to these activities, there are some maths games that combine having fun with practicing number skills. And there are games covering many aspects of number that children will enjoy. This can provide a nice relief and perhaps change during the preparation period for the tests. A thorough knowledge of multiplication tables is essential for children's speed, confidence and success in many aspects of mathematics, not just calculations, but also area, ratio and many aspects of working with fractions. There are some great activities to help children learn the multiplication tables, which we'll now look at in the context of the year four multiplication tables check. There are songs, games and quizzes to help children learn the multiplication tables. We can find them from the home page by clicking into the mathematics area, scrolling down and then clicking to enter the times tables folder. There are four icons here. Firstly, the multiplication tool, which is a very similar experience to the MTC assessment itself. Or you can customize it when setting a to do to focus on specific tables, change the timings and more. If children launch the tool for themselves, they'll be asked if they want to play an assessment or custom mode. It's in the custom mode that they can change timings or choose tables to focus on. If you set the multiplication tool as a to do, you'll see the children's scores and details about which multiplication facts they know or need practice on 
by clicking on the View Data button in your To Do's and clicking the plus signs in the scores for more details. The second tool in the Times Table folder is the Monster Multiplication tool. It's visually quite similar to the Multiplication tool, but it offers adaptive questions and encourages learning by growing a monster in reward for regular practice, accuracy and other good habits. Back into the Times Tables folder, the next icon is for the Tables Tunes. You can listen to the Times Tables being sung in fun styles. And then use the games for each table to check learning with some music to liven things up a bit. And lastly, we have the Times Tables Printables folder. In here, you'll find multiplication grids, squares to display the patterns made by the times tables, loop cards, times table posters, memory games, and dominoes, and more. We hope that you'll find the tools in this video useful, and thank you for watching.